and I'm your brother Brian from Brother Brian Gaming. And today we're going to be reviewing two beers. Yep. By the way, in case you didn't guess, this is Point Rock Review. Oh yeah, Point Rock Review. <laughs> looks like we're starting off with Blue Moon Cocoa Brown Ale. Brewers Select. So is that like just the guy that makes it just says, yeah, drink this? Yeah, that's what we're making this time. Cocoa and a hint of orange peel. Twisty? Twisty. Twisty. I don't smell much cocoa. I smell, I, don't, I think it's a small hint of cocoa. Let's see what this looks like. Oh, well, it definitely looks like a burnt, or a dark beer, brown beer. It's a little lighter than a, it's almost like an amber. It's like a Newcastle. Yeah, it does kind of look like Newcastle. So how much alcohol is in this bad boy? This one, 5.8? Yeah, 5.8 value. Okay, it smells good. I don't know. I guess here we go. Let's give it a shot. I did it for the cocoa. That ain't that bad. It's not that bad, but taste, uh... it, it it doesn't really taste like cocoa. It kind of tastes like like a very faint of Hershey syrup. Like chocolate syrup. Okay. Just a just a hint of it when I first tasted it. That's what it reminded me. Of. The first thing that hit to me is like Hershey chocolate syrup. Yeah, I guess I can, I can get that. But that's pretty good. Pretty good. I don't know. It's got like a, a slight. There's almost like an underlying citrusy taste to it. Well, it said I had orange peel in it. Okay. That's what Blue Moon's all about normally, yeah. It says it right there, cocoa and a hint of orange peel. No. That's what it's pretty good. That explains it. Um, this would probably be really good if it didn't have the orange peel in it, maybe. It would be even a little bit better. Because I don't know if that's taken away from the cocoa. Could be. Flavor that they use or whatever the heck it is. I kind of wish I knew what it was that they were, uh, kind of cocoa they were putting in it or, you know, what it is. It just says... Food with cocoa and a hint of orange peel, that's it. Yeah, well, beer companies don't really put ingredients on the bottles yet. Well, it's not like uh, it's not like they took a thing of like cocoa powder and put it in there. I'm sure it's like the, the you know, whatever else, some kind of part of the plant broken down or whatever. How about the cocoa plant? But not bad. Uh, I, I don't... I don't know. Would you consider that a dark beer? I mean, I, I guess, I guess so. Guess technically it is. But not a bad beer. Not a bad beer. It wasn't exactly what I was expecting, but uh, I'm not sorry for it. <laughs> no, I'm not sorry for it. It's going down pretty smooth, that's for sure. Oh, excuse me. I think I would drink this again. It wouldn't be something I would pick up on a regular basis, but I would drink it again. It's funny as I'm getting towards the bottom, I'm getting a little bit of a, like a nutty kind of taste. Mm. Cards could be just me. So far as, as, uh, as far as chocolate beers go, I think the s'mores is my favorite. Yeah, well like I said, it says it was Evans. Cocoa, not really chocolate, but I don't know. I was thinking cocoa and, and it'd be, oh, it's a brown ale, anyways. It says it's a brown ale. Yeah. Jesus Christ. I mean, am I stupid or what? Oh, it's crystal. So, next on our agenda is Blue Moon's Honey Wheat. Summer Honey Wheat, a limited release. Ooh, it's all exclusive. With wheat and clover honey. We've had clover honey before, I know we have. Wow. 
<laughs> that's it. No, no special thing on it. How much alcohol is on this? Eight point or five point eight point. Five point two, I think. Yes, five point two. I see it. Five point two. So this will be interesting, being a honey wheat beer. Ooh, I can smell the wheat, bud. Nice cool. Nice cool. Nice cool color. Yeah, play with it. It's a sunset. Yeah, it does smell sweet. Well, not like super sweet, but you can taste the wheat and I think some honey, maybe. Ready? Ready, ready. Let's do this. Ooh. That's really smooth. Uh, very. I'm trying to describe it right now. Uh, I'm not really tasting any honey, which is fine with me. It's got the uh, honey... Uh, like that honey aftertaste. Without having the honey taste at all. If yeah. that makes any sense. I I think I know where you're going with that. It's definitely I a wheat beer. You, yeah. can, you can taste the wheat. You can definitely taste the wheat, though. And I kind of like wheat beers, because they always seem to go down pretty good. They're pretty smooth. Mm. It's definitely something I would drink again. I could drink that without an issue. Mm. No problem. It's not. Funny. The strange thing is, if I ever went to a a British pub mm -hmm. and said, "Give me a give me a pint, give me a pint of your house's finest," this is the kind of beer I'd expect them to give me. Yeah, nice. <laughs> Even though I probably pissed off a lot of British people. Oh, you, know, you say Colorado beer is better than the our finest? Yeah. Is this from Colorado? Yeah, I believe so. Yeah, Golden Colorado. Golden Colorado. Well, they make some pretty damn good beer. And I've had some Blue Moon, like, what was that one? The first Blue Moon we ever had was, uh, it had the, just the orange rind in it or whatever else. Yeah. I don't know if it was a certain flavor or not, but uh, Dave brought him over. He's like, oh, you gotta try this Blue Moon. It's a shit. And we drank here, like, oh my God, it's nothing but orange peels in it. Yeah, my first, uh, my first time, I, I wasn't crazy about it. I thought no. it's good, but it's not anything wonderful. Yeah. And then I had it again, um, so two years ago. Yeah. I was in New Hampshire and um, Mike handed me one and so I drank like that tastes really good. I think the one he gave us, the, the one that Dave gave us, had citrus in it. He didn't really, that was a citrus beer instead of just the, because I know there's like Belgian white and all that and those right. are all, those all taste Why do they still like make them all with orange peels? Yeah. So maybe they backed off on the, the orange rind on that because that one we had was, mm -hmm. Freaking orangey ass rind. It was like drinking an orange version of Guinness, you know? Right. I, I could, you could taste the fucking, you know, it's like, hey man, I'm drinking orange juice here. But it's definitely a good beer. It goes down really smooth. The taste isn't like extremely strong. I mean, when we first tasted it, you could taste everything. Now it's just like, okay, normal beer. I don't know, after you drink so many beers, yeah. after a while, I think a lot of shit just tastes the same way. Wow. <laughs> In a way, you know, there's, there's, different things that like you can tell the difference between this cocoa freaking brown ale and and this one here you can definitely taste this is a brown ale and this is definitely a wheat you know wheat ale yeah or wheat beer or whatever you want to call it i think i'm ready to give my review okay we can do our reviews that's fine with me um i'll let you start it up go on well starting off with the cocoa brown i think this one i would have to give Probably three. And uh, honestly, I think I would give it a three. I would definitely uh, drink it again if somebody said, hey, try one of these, or here, have one of these, or whatever else. Yes. I, 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 uh, it's good. I just don't see myself buying like a six or 12 pack yeah. of this ever. If I went into a store and was looking for a beer for the night, this is probably not what I would choose. No, definitely not. It's not what I would choose. 
but it's it's definitely drinkable. Uh, it's good for a, a brown ale. Um, so I, I would give it a three. The summer honey wheat. Um, if I happen to see this in the store, I, I would I would gladly buy this again in a six pack. Mm -hmm. um, this I'm gonna have to give more of a four. I can't quite go full five with it, but I can I can do a four. I could probably lean towards four point five. I'm gonna go with a solid four. And honestly, I would go with a solid four again. I would definitely, no problems. Let me give you one of these. I'm gonna drink it again. No problem. No no second guessing at all. Yeah, that's a good beer right there. I definitely not gonna make it past a four, but it's definitely up there. You know. So they did a good job with that one. I'm liking it. So am I. So that's two beers, two reviews, and two more reasons to click the like button. Until next time. Wow.